Hi, I'm Kevin O'Connor, host of This Old House and also an alum of Boston University. And today we are talking about the latest project that the university has undertaken, which is a full gut renovation of an old building that they are turning into housing for faculty and staff. And they're doing the entire project with a mind towards energy efficiency and sustainability, which is why we are talking Kevin. to the sustainability director, Dennis Carlberg. Dennis, good to see you. Welcome back to BU. Thank you very much. Tell us about your project. Well, I think it's a great project. We're getting it certified through the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED program. Mm -hmm. and so those are different levels of certification? Exactly. You can get certified silver, gold, or platinum, depending and upon how many points you get. And what are you guys shooting for? Looking for platinum. <laughs> what do you mean? Absolutely. All right. Well, let's find out how you hope to get platinum. Okay. I'll tell you. So, Mike, you're helping us plug up this house and stop all the leaks? Yeah. We're running the blower door now. And this is doing what for us? We're sucking air out of the house. Yeah. And we're finding out where it comes in. So by sucking the air out, air wants to get back in. And this is actually the pressure on the outside trying to get in here. And that's happening right. all throughout this building. Exactly. The ceiling, all the walls, even the foundation is all seeing this kind of pressure right now. And if we go around the house, we can find any leaks. Oh, yeah. There's still a few remaining, and we can illustrate one right here. You can see how that that's a draft. blows out of that. Yeah, yeah. So by uh, illustrating them with a fan, we can go around and find them and eliminate them. And that's what we've done before sheetrock went into this building. And so you actually tighten this building up considerably? Yeah, probably by more than half since we oh. first started measuring it. Okay, Kevin, this is a typical unit. It's about 1,200 square feet. Pretty nice. Not too bad. Two bedroom unit. And all brand new, despite all brand the fact new. you've got an old building. Yep, exactly. Yeah, these are the kinds of things that our faculty and staff are really looking for. Yeah. Uh, and those are the things they're paying attention to, while we're paying attention to sort of what's behind the walls and what the materials are, are here. Uh, this countertop uh, is made up of glass and, and pieces of metal and uh, mirror. So uh, recycled recycle. pieces yeah. of glass, though. So you, exactly. you put the bottles out on the corner, and they end up in your countertop. Exactly. But they look pretty good. Yeah, they look great. Yeah. It looks like a granite countertop. Sure. Our water uh, fixtures are all water efficient. Yeah. So low flow, low of flow. Low fixtures right. right there. Nice. Exactly. And then our cabinets use Forest Stewardship Council certified lumber. Mm -hmm. And what that does is make sure that the forests are sustainably managed for future generations. We're not talking about things like clear cutting or getting rid of the rainforest. Exactly. Beautiful. And then everything's new, including the appliances. So this gives you the ability to put in uh, really efficient units. Exactly. So yeah. people should always look for the energy guide. $57 a year to operate. Yeah. Not too bad. Not all right. bad. And all new floors, you guys chose bamboo. Yes, bamboo is a, it's a rapidly renewable material. It grows back in about 10 years as opposed to 50 or 100 years for right. a, a forest. Right. Uh, and you get a nice wood finish, a uh, nice wood feel that we, we have grown to expect in our houses. Our energy efficiency story continues with our hot water system. A typical unit, you can remember those big, huge water tanks that sit in your basement. Those are heating that water all the time, 24-7. Right. We don't need that water 24-7. So what we've done is we've put in a unit that just heats the water when we need it. And the few pipes that we do have, because we've eliminated those links to the unit, we only have uh, insulated pipes that go through the unit. You guys insulate everything you can, don't I you? I love insulation. All right. So a much more efficient unit, but how much more efficient? Ah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is $202 a year to operate, according to the energy guide. A typical hot water heater is $500 to $600 a year to operate. Big savings. Big savings. So our faculty and staff will be able to measure how much energy they're using on all their circuits. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't manage what you don't measure. So we're providing a system that will allow them to do that. All right. Through Jay Fisk at Powerhouse Dynamics, he'll explain how the system works. So Jay, what's your system? How are you helping these people manage their uh, power consumption? Sure. So we make a platform called the E-Monitor. And the e-monitor is a way to provide homeowners and apartment dwellers and small commercial people to measure the individual power consumption on each of the circuits within their facility. Okay. And so we've all got an electrical panel buried somewhere in our house. Correct. Right? And each one of these is a dedicated circuit to either an appliance or a group of lights, for example. Right, exactly. And so by measuring power consumption on each one of the circuits, now, now the homeowner has the level of information required to make informed decisions about where and how they spend money on electricity and we're taking this data and we're presenting it to the user over the web interface with a very intuitive front end. So now I know what the house is using but also what say the bedroom outlets are using, maybe the refrigerator or even the HVAC system. So once the system is in place, what have you found? I mean, has it actually changed people's behavior? On average, our customers have described saving between 10 and 20 percent 
simply by understanding what various parts of their home are costing right. them. Information is power. All right, thank you, Jay. So, Dennis, you guys are providing um, all the fancy appliances, super insulation, sometimes epiphany on your electrical <laughs> system. Yep. It all sounds very expensive. Well, this budget was set before we even considered green building, before we even considered LEED, mm -hmm. and this project has come in on budget. So you were able to add all of these things, all of the materials, the appliances, the smarts, and not cost any more? I don't consider it an ad. It's just a different way to think about hmm. it. Okay. So starting from the beginning, you get it in your head that you're going to do it this way. The project's almost done, yeah. uh, pretty much done. You guys are waiting for your LEED certification. Exactly. When does that come? Well, we have to submit to LEED, and we'll be doing that uh, in the next month Great. after we get all our I's dotted and our T's crossed. And where do you go from here in terms of the rest of the campus? Well, we have a lot of campus to do, uh, but right now we have actually six projects. One's launching this week, uh, all LEED projects. All right, well, good luck with all of those, and thank you for showing thank me you around. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks yeah. for coming.